Welcome to the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Wednesday, December 9th. This is Gina McGuire. Over the last seven days, we've had plenty of precipitation over the northern portion of the Great Basin, with this precipitation above normal over the western side and northern portion of Idaho, but still near or below normal as you move further east. We have had some lighter precipitation over the last week into parts of northern Nevada, Utah, and into the Sierra. However, this is still well below normal from what we would see during this week climatologically. Looking at the current weather conditions, we do have an area of low pressure off the west coast which will move eastward and this will allow for increasing winds across most of the Great Basin along with precipitation increasing and cooler temperatures. Now looking at ventilation index for today which takes into account the transport winds and the mixing height, we still have a weak ridge of high pressure over the southern portion of the Great Basin with lighter winds and very poor dispersion. Further north and west as you approach parts of western and northwest Nevada into Oregon, the winds are increasing as low pressure approaches, therefore the dispersion is improving. However, again, still very poor dispersion across much of the Great Basin today. If we look at the individual components, on the left the transport winds, you can see these stronger winds over parts of western Nevada and Oregon developing later today, and also of the very weak winds over the southern and eastern portions of the Great Basin. Also again, very low mixing heights over southern Nevada and Utah, with increasing mixing heights as you move further north and west. By tomorrow, an area of low pressure moves into the Pacific Northwest, and this will allow for moisture to spread across the Great Basin, along with increasing winds and cooler temperatures. This will allow the ventilation index to increase significantly over much of Nevada into southwest Idaho, however still remain fairly low over the eastern portion of the Great Basin. Looking at the transport winds and mixing heights for Thursday, you can see this dramatic increase in winds across the western half of the Great Basin, with still lighter winds further east, along with some lower mixing heights over parts of southern and eastern Utah. However, again, mixing heights are improving as the winds increase, especially over eastern Nevada into western Utah. By Friday, this trough of low pressure moves across the Great Basin. This will allow for lighter winds and cooler temperatures, however, plenty of moisture in all areas. This will allow, with especially those lighter winds, the ventilation index to decrease more significantly over the northern half of the Great Basin. However, over southern Nevada and southern Utah on Friday, as winds are still somewhat gusty, the ventilation index will remain fairly high. If we look at, again, the individual components for Friday, we see this decrease in wind across the Great Basin, with the exception of far southern Nevada into southern Utah, where winds will still remain gusty with higher mixing heights. The National Weather Service in Utah also issues a forecast for clearing index, and today across most of Utah the clearing index is fairly low with these lighter winds, with the exception of the higher elevations. However, on Thursday as winds increase as low pressure approaches, the clearing index will increase significantly over the western half of Utah, and still remain high on Friday as winds remain gusty over the southern portion of Utah, but will decrease further north significantly as winds decrease and cooler temperatures and moisture moves in. Looking at the forecast amount of precipitation for the next three days through Friday, you can see more significant amounts of precipitation in the Sierra and into far northwest Nevada and Idaho, with lesser amounts of precipitation over the southern half of Nevada and still good amounts of rainfall over parts of Utah. Now looking at the extended forecast from this weekend into early next week, by Saturday this first trough of low pressure moves well to the east, however we have another area of low pressure approaching the northwest coast. We'll likely see decreasing precipitation on Saturday, but still showery conditions across Idaho into northern Nevada. Also, dispersion will increase over the southern half of the Great Basin, but still remain fairly poor over northern areas. As we move into Sunday, this next area of low pressure moves in to the western side of the Great Basin, increasing showers and winds once again. We'll likely see still poor ventilation index over the northern portion of the Great Basin until this area of low pressure moves through, and better areas of dispersion further south. By Monday, with the trough moving across and winds increasing again from the northwest, we'll likely see better dispersion across the Great Basin with still showery conditions and cooler temperatures. By Tuesday, as this area of low pressure moves well to the east and winds decrease, along with lowering mixing heights, we'll likely see lowering ventilation index as well, especially across Nevada and Idaho. Overall amounts of forecast precipitation from Saturday through Monday across the Great Basin will be more significant across Idaho and into the Sierra later this weekend, along with much colder temperatures as we move later in the weekend into early next week. However, we will still see some light areas of precipitation further south and east across southern Nevada into Utah. If we look further out into December, into the third week of the month, we are still expecting below normal temperatures and above normal precipitation for most of the Great Basin. 
That concludes our briefing for today. If you have any questions or comments on the briefing, feel free to contact us. Thank you for listening.